Hi there, my name's Amy and I'm here with Park Cameras today to talk about sensor sizes on everything from compact to medium format. Now, sensor sizes range dramatically between compacts, which this little Panasonic TZ70 is 6.17mm by 45 with this medium format, Pentax 645Z, being 438 by 328mm. So the difference there is massive and the difference is in what they can produce as well. This is a high-end, fashion shoot, model quality, studio quality camera. It can shoot megapixels, I think this one's 51.4 megapixels, so it can be blown up massive, you can use this for billboard, the quality is amazing, each pixel is big, so it takes in a lot of light, and the narrow depth of field you can create is, is amazing. You can, you can shoot someone's eye and have the eyelash in focus and the eye completely out of focus, so that can create incredible quality. The TZ70 has great images, there's no doubting that. Where you'll struggle is any low light situation. You'll get grain, if you push the ISO up you'll get, you'll get noise and grain and you won't be able to create that nice narrow depth of field. Most photographers and enthusiasts will sit in the middle of those two. And this is where we have a smaller range or a smaller notch up each time of, of sensor sizes. So you've got your high end compacts, micro four thirds, APS-C size and, and full frame. Micro Four Thirds is 18mm by 13.5mm in most circumstances and the market is really cornered by Olympus and Panasonic. They're great for street photography because the sensor is small enough to create small bodies and lenses but big enough to create a slightly narrower depth of field than com compacts and deal with low light situations better. If you want to go up a stage from that we have APS-C size. APS-C in Nikon and Canon range a bit so they're known quite often as cropped frame cameras and the reason for that is a full frame camera is based on 35mm film and that's a, that's a one times crop so if you have a 50mm focal length lens on a full frame camera then that's a 50mm focal length lens. If you put a 50mm focal length lens on a 1.5 times cropped camera then it will look like a 75mm focal length lens and that's basically how it works. Canon is a 1.6 times crop, Nikon is a 1.5. APS-C Again, brilliant enthusiast camera, can e easily be used professionally um, and is quite often used because of the crop factor for wildlife and sports because it means you can get a bit extra out of your lenses, you can make them a bit longer effectively. Full frame is, is quite often used professionally, um, not just for stills anymore but for video as well. Um, Canon, Canon and Sony have really made sure of that actually. Sony's a big player in full frame now, and as you can see, we've got an A7R Mark II here. Still a smaller body, bigger than the Micro Four Thirds, but still a, still a relatively small body. Lenses range on those, but are generally, for the really good quality ones, generally a bit bigger. Um, so it's not pocketable unless you have crazy big pockets. Um, but yeah, lovely cameras, full frame sensors, you're looking at getting really narrow depth of field. Uh, you can really push your ISO up so you can take nice low lights without having to use flashes, without having to use artificial light. You can just take it out for a night shoot and get some really beautiful ambient light fo photos with that. So really, that is where a lot of pros go now. Um, not just Sony, but Canon and Nikon versions as well of full frame. And uh, you know, it's, it's a beautiful way to shoot, really nice way to shoot. And that's where high-end compacts have pushed forward really. High-end compacts now, it used to be high-end compacts you'd get a one inch sensor which a lot of them still are and that's great. One inch sensor you can do a lot more than you can with the really small sensors. Better at low light, again depth of focus, things like that but high-end compacts now, this is a Sony RX1R which is probably my favourite camera of all time, it's, it's beautiful um, and this has a full frame sensor in it. So it's a massive sensor for the size of camera. I mean, as you can see, there's not much difference there. And you've got a full frame sensor in this, which makes a massive difference to the way it can deal with low light situations, to what you can shoot with that walking around. And this is now probably the favourite of any pro who wants a smaller camera to chuck in their bag and take out of the weekends and not have to lug kit about like that. Popping up on the screen now is a comparison to show you all the different sensor sizes versus each other. So you can see that there. If you need any more information, just give us a call or email, check out the website. I'm Amy, thanks for watching the video.